Hello again. Thanks for staying with us on TVC News. Economic cooperation between Nigeria and China is viewed as very healthy, with China being the largest trading partner to Nigeria in the year 2017, with exports to Nigeria standing at $12.15 billion. This was disclosed at the ongoing 2019 Belt and Road Nigeria China Economic and Trade Forum in Abuja. Nigeria signed a memorandum of understanding and 13 other agreements with China last year, which falls under the Belt and Road Initiative. TVC News correspondent Muyo Thomas joins correspondent Muyo Thomas joins us now for more on the ongoing program. Hello, Moyo. Tell us about the highlights so far of this trade uh, forum in Abuja. Okay, the tr trade forum that is, is, is still ongoing, it ends tomorrow, is about the initiative, all the uh, cooperation, the partnership that Nigeria and China has. Um, it's, um, there's been an exhibition that started yesterday of all the CEC, all the Chinese companies in Nigeria that are doing businesses here were there to display what they do and to also talk about how the cooperation between Nigeria and China has been so far. All right, and for the Nigerian side, what's been the message? Um, the rep the uh, Dr. Dikpe Oluda uh, spoke um, from the presidency, the essay to the president. They, they deliver, the speech he delivered highlighted the very important and core values of the cooperation, the bilateral cooperation between Nigeria and China. And the important thing is that they want China through this um, um, Belt and Road uh, memorandum that was signed last year. They want China to just not be a trading partner with Nigeria, but to be an investor, a partner in, the, in terms of investment. Rather than China giving Nigeria's loans, they want China to invest in Nigeria and let the two countries indeed um, enjoy mutually the benefits of cooperation. Uh, right, Moyo, and we understand that uh, this forum ongoing in Abuja is uh, actually an initiative ahead of the Belt and Road uh, Forum that will hold in China, uh, where Nigeria uh, happens to be one of the uh, partners with China now. But tell us what Nigeria stands to gain uh, holistically now from this enhanced partnership. Okay, that would actually be made known, not, not, at the moment we don't know what um, the cooperation, the memorandum that was signed is not public yet, and until the FOCAC meeting that will happen next, um, next, um, next week, we will not know what exactly Nigeria has gained so far or will gain. But f after the meeting next week, we're sure the federal government would uh, make open what um, Nigeria has gained from the partnership from the signing the uh, agreement on the r Belt and Road. But one very important thing at the moment, the cooperation between Nigeria and China still sits towards um, benefiting China more because so far we import more things. Our import from China at the moment is about 12 point one five billion US dollars while the import from Nigeria the export from Nigeria to China is just about seven hundred and twenty million dollars so the 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 um, this the balance right now the argument right now is try trying to balance the the trade relation so that not only China benefits from this cooperation, but Nigeria also benefits. And one key, key element that has been also uh, buttressed at the meeting is, to, is for China not to only buy raw materials from Nigeria, but also patronize, patronize Nigeria on finished goods. All right, correcting the trading balance between uh, existing Nigeria-China uh, relationship. Many thanks, Amoyo Thomas, there for us with updates on the ongoing